This conference will now be recorded. All right. Yeah. Okay. We'll start the meeting off, and we'll go with number one, the August 18th, 2020 minutes, and the special meeting of council minutes. I guess we can probably do them together. Sure. So if you want to have a look at those and if there's any errors or omissions, uh, please say. If not, I'll get someone to make a motion that we accept those minutes as presented. Callan. Callan and Gardner. Okay. And if there's uh, any discussion on that? If not, I'll call for the question. All those in favor? Opposed? Carried. Great. Thank you. Number two, the adoption of the agenda. Uh, again, that's laid in front of you. Uh, if there's any deletions or anything that should have been there, if not, I will ask for a motion to accept the agenda as presented. Councilor Wright, seconder. Councilor Collin, call for the question. All in favor? Great, thank you, carried. Now, number three, finance. We'll do the Town of Burden and the Waterworks together. Go through those if there's anything there that affects you. Let us know. I'll give you a minute just to glance at those. Have we not heard anyone with any concerns? I'll ask that uh, for a motion that we pay the bill that is presented. Councillor Wright, can I get a seconder? Councillor Williams, any discussion on anything? Any questions? Councillor Wright. I have a question about um, on the first page 2020 1498 to 1504 that's a lump sum there for, for payroll Rhonda right. usually our pay, usually our payrolls like closer to 60,000 is that a typo what was the number again a 1498 is the last four digits to 1504 yeah well the number's not even in here it's true it is on the paper oh it doesn't show up there's two of them there oh okay yeah, it's like I would suggest that that first one is likely council. Okay. Council, that would make, yeah. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what that would be. That makes sense. Okay, and then I have a question regarding um, on the second page. It was 2020 1578. Like there's just a whole bunch of stuff listed, and I'm wondering, like, kind of um, what happened or what is that spe like specifically on? Is it on? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That looks like it's on the dehumidifier, so that'd be at the rink. Power issue with generator. I'm cooling tower motor, spare motor for cooling tower. Trouble troubleshoot water tower relay. Install UPS system on tele telemetry cabinet. It's for Waterworks and Arena. It's for a number of different invoices. We don't usually go through this this detail. Yeah, so it was just like there's a whole bunch of stuff. Like, did we have a whole bunch of stuff go wrong in one month, or was it just like an accumulation of accumulation of a number of things? There was they had to put a different motor in the cooling tower. They're working on that controls to the. Oh, well, there was that um, power outage at the Valley Well, where it blew the controls. So there's that in there. Uh, working on the dehumidifier. Uh, that generator, that was, they had some trouble doing a turn on at, at the rink when the power went out one day. Um, yeah, so it's just a whole bunch of different things. Any other questions? Grant, do you have something? Go ahead. Yes, uh, the first one I have is 1484 on the first page. Okay. 
Yeah, that's for the crack ceiling for the airport. That's just the oil itself? Yeah, that's just the oil. Okay, we and then eight or ten the one four. And then the one four eight eight is for profile paving, and that's for putting that oil down, is it, or what? No, that's for actually doing um, some patching at the airport, as well as some patching um, around town. Not sure why she had been paving, but they were doing those patches that we budgeted for at the airport. Right. The airport, so just paid for through the town. Right. The paving part is town airport. Yeah. Go ahead, Grant. I think the one at the airport ended up being a bit larger than what because it ended up being a bigger job to patch than last year when we first got. I know when I walked that strip, there was a piece there on top of the road. Travis has his question up, hand up when we're done with Grant. Okay, Travis, I'll get right to you here as soon as we get this answer for Grant. Yeah, the Burton Airport um, is 20, about $20,000. And then there was a number of saw cut patching around town for another 11000 plus GST. And then a number of other saw cut patches around town. Four inch, those are the four inch patches. Yeah, the little four inch. Sorry, two inches of asphalt, four inches of waste, or almost 30,000. So that's where we get the 63,000, I believe. Is that like where they dug up pavement, pavement to do water lines and stuff yeah. like that? That would be where they cut out the old stuff right. and put a nice, yeah. Does that answer your question, Grant? He's frozen again. Mm -hmm. I wonder how come his isn't working anymore. Bring her back to the trade and give him another one. I think it's the internet, not the computer. Oh. I think, think Travis had a question. Travis, go ahead. Sorry, we'll get, jump back to Grant here in a second. Okay, well, Grant's thawing out there. Uh, I was just curious about those Asheville. Uh, uh, bills there were they was that tendered work yes it was yeah that's with our when we put out for our equipment and material pricing early in the year and there the, that's who came in okay can i ask a few more the uh, the uh purchase of the truck from burden ford is 22.4 it's on uh 15.21 right and it's for 22.4 I just thought that that truck was uh, 18 something or whatever. It was 19.6 plus taxes. Plus oh. they had to do, get a couple, like they got a set of seat covers for it. And, heading yeah. rack. Sure. Well, the heading rack they used off the old one. Oh, okay. And a fire yeah. So I might put seat covers on. Yeah. Okay, and if I could ask uh, two more, um, the the 1582 and 1583 those are categorized bscg what exactly how does that work are we uh just returning grants or something or that's what we what if you recall tracy brought that up in community services um for the building sustainable community grants yes oh yes okay i understand yeah thanks <laughs> We're not making these. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any other thing else, Travis? No? Okay, good. All right, if there's no other questions, I'll ask for a motion to pay the bills, please. Don't write the motion. We just, oh, we just need. All in favor. Okay, all in favor, sorry. All in favor? Good. Carrie, thank you. Okay, number four. I'll turn this one over to you, Rhonda. Actually, Bob. there is nothing under bylaws. Nothing under bylaws? Awesome. All right, let's go to number five. AMM issues, member advisory toward parity in municipal politics web page. I'm assuming that's all we have. So, Rhonda, if you want to explain what's happening there. Yeah, 
Uh, yes, actually, um, FCM just wanted to point, sorry, AMM has brought forward some information from FCM and they have launched a new Toward Parity and Municipal Politics webpage on the AMM website. And I'm sorry, it's AMM, sorry, getting mixed up here. And they have used tools that have been developed by FCM. So just something if any of you are interested in looking at that, because they are committed to making municipal councils more representative of the communities that they serve. Good. Okay, and 5.1, does that take that into two here? Yeah. Okay, so 5.2 is a separate thing. Yes. And I'll turn that one to you too, please. Uh, this is the member invitation to the AMM Fall Conference, which is now um, online. And it's right now it appears as though it'll be a one day event. And uh, yeah, there's not, it's certainly not going to be as good as it has been in the past. The convention will officially begin with opening remarks on November 23rd at 9 a.m. and will call close following the last scheduled agenda item on that same day. So it will be just a one day event. And I believe registration, early registration is $200 per person. $100. Hundred. It says a hundred for voting members and two hundred for non. I'm sorry. Yes. Just because I was reading that right now. I'm glad you. Yes, I was going. The fee is two hundred dollars. Thank you. Yes. So it's a hundred dollars per person. So if council is wishing to attend, I believe everyone still can attend because that policy was strictly amended for FCM attendance. Right. Is that correct? Right. Yes. Um, we stuck with everybody can go to AMM with no right. motions. Right. Yeah. I guess we'll have to find ask who all wants to attend it to uh, Yes, yeah. And so then either yourself or Pearl, I would suggest have Pearl register you mm -hmm. and she can supply the email address that you wish the link to go to to join the meeting. So we could do that over the computers from home or would we do yes. here? Yep. Which yeah, depending on your first. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Let's go along to 5.3. And again, I'll let you take that one too, please, Steve. Uh, this is just a reminder about the executive committee of AMM for their elections. So there will be elections for uh, can, the president and two vice presidents. Nominations close November 2nd. Advanced voting commences via secured web portal on November 16th with final candidate speeches and voting on the convention day. So uh, if you're interested in voting for the president and vice presidents, you may wish to be registered for the meeting. And there's information there. So if you're wishing to be nominated, you need to have your council nomination or you should have council nominate you. Yeah, and so all the voting procedures exactly are all in that information document. Good, thank you. Uh, 5.4. Consultation for cannabis consumption spaces. I'm sure you probably all read that because that was sent out to you, but I'll turn it over to you, uh, Ron, please. Ah, uh, yes. Um, liquor and gaming and cannabis is asking for consultation um, or is consulting with key stakeholders of the public about potential new opportunities related to cannabis. And there is an invitation letter. So if our municipality wishes to participate, uh, there is feedback in the survey questions on consultation at lgcamb.ca. And the closing date is September 30th. So I thought you guys as a council may wish to read through those survey questions and decide if you would like to respond. So perhaps we could do that prior to the next meeting. Mm -hmm. Of council? Yeah, we can put that on the agenda and then we should all. Uh, Very right. Um, oh, sorry. 
cost effect. Sorry, I just have a question on that. I presume those that response should be a council response rather than individual. Mm -hmm. That is how it appears, but if you wish to do it as a municipality, yes. Okay, thank you. So we'll put that on the uh, agenda then for our next meeting. That gives everybody time to go through it and think about it, and uh, we can go from there. Great. Anything else on that, Rhonda? No. Okay, thank you. Okay, number six. Recommendations from finance and finance. I will turn that over to Deputy Mayor Williams. I don't think, do I have motions in here on that? Or should be? Did she not put it in? Just maybe I'm. Oh, she didn't put it in. Okay. Um, no. So that was the first one was just to recommend. The, yeah. Because uh, the one, the two below it are part of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I would like to recommend to council that we accept the July 2020 revenue and expenses. And can we do them all as well? Yeah. As well as the July 2020 general operating fund and July 2020 utility operating fund. If I can get a motion and a second for that. Councillor Cowan. Oh, Cowan and Wright. Oh, yeah, no, I guess I made the motion, Cowan, yeah. sorry. And then anybody have any comments, any discussion on this? These are at p &L. We already did them at Planning and Finance. So, Councillor Penner? Sorry, I had a question on, uh, on uh, it's on page seven of 16, item number 2472, but it's the asphalt patching budget. And I see that we have zero expenditures, but we just That's approved a bunch of payments. These like are the July statements. They were done in July, it was done in August. And these are the July statements that were just okay. I'm sorry, okay, I understand. Thanks. Anybody you see anything else or are we good? Good? Okay. All those in favor? I'm done. There you go. Oh, or th th is that bottom one me too? Okay, sorry. Um, and I will make the motion to recommend to council that the administrative out of scope wages for 2020 be set as negotiated. And I need a seconder. You're making that motion? Yes. Good. Can we get a seconder for that, please? Councilor Town. Oh, sorry, Carl, did you have a hand up? No, I was rubbing my ear. <laughs> okay. two, two and a half seconders. Anybody have anything they want to add to that one? Discussion? Oh, we're good. Travis? It's hard to tell if he's. Oh, yeah. yeah, just a quick question. Uh, uh, was that the discussion we had at our last special meeting? Yeah, yeah. that is. Okay, thank you. Call for the All those in favor? Grant, are you good? I don't know if Grant, I can't tell if he's frozen. No, I saw his head move. But then he's frozen again. Yeah. I just don't think we can put it's unanimous when I can't tell. All right, you go. One that's not going to be cold. So we'll have so one, one, two. Yeah, we just did three, four. Did you get ready? I didn't catch everybody. Everybody else was in favor. Can it, you guys put your? Can you put your? Okay. Who's in favor? Can you put your hand up? One, two, three, four, five. Carl, you're in favor. You're in yeah. favor. So three is yeah. a five to two. Grant. Oh, Grant. Grant. Are you in favor, Grant, or are you opposed? I think he's in favor. In favor? Okay. So six to one. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Thank you. Okay. It's hard to track the hands sometimes, that's all. All right. Let's move along to number seven recommendations from community services. 
And who's sharing that one? Brent. Wendy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I will make the recommendation that the committee recommends to council that the town of Verdon accept the proposal from Ernie High for a, the contract position of animal control officer for the town of Verdon for one year starting September 9th, 2020. I'd second that. Okay, any discussion? If not, we'll call for the question. All those in favor? Opposed? Carrie, thank you. Thanks, Tina. Uh, and then we don't we want to do the canteen as well? Oh yes. Would you like? I'll step up and hand it to you. Okay. We'll do the canteen leaf here as well, Councillor Wright. Uh, I will make the motion that we enter into a contract. Um, do we identify by name or do we just the proposal? Uh, no, you by name. Um, from Tammy Wright and Kaylee Smith for the operation of the canteen for one year. So you are you seconding that, Travis? No, sorry, I was going to make a comment, but I guess we need to say, I'll second it first. I'll second it. Okay, Councillor Penner. And then comments? Yeah, uh, the the uh, offer was, uh, though, for less than a year, right? Like, she was just offering, a, I don't have it up on my screen right now, but it was just for three months or something? No, that was for um, the first four months of revenue, or sorry, of um it was for the first four months with a review of sales and expenses at that time to look at a possible increase in rent. So it okay, is one year from the date of start with the first right to renew. Okay. Anybody have any other questions? Do we have open bids on the animal control office? Yeah, the animal control and the canteen both went in and those are the only ones we got for both. Okay. Um, all right, so then we will, all those in favor of that motion? Carl, you're yep. good, Carl? Yeah, I just, Grant keeps speaking. Yeah. Okay, can you let Marie know? Mary? No, <laughs> oh, you can't hear me. There he is. Okay. 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 No, I'm ready. Yes, so we're on to tax bill. Okay. Number nine, tax taxes. Adding any deleters? Do you all have sheets in front of you? Um, one fourth. Oh. Number eight. Tax sale proceeds. Number eight. Sorry, wrong. Okay. Um. If everyone recalls that at the regular council meeting on April 21st, council resolved to postpone um, the tax sale procedure for four months. And we're now at the four month point and our CFO uh, requires directions from council as to what the next step will be with the regards to the tax sale proceedings for taxes owing for the 2018 year. When speaking with tax service, and that's the organization that assists the town with the proceedings, it was recommended that we pick up where we left off four months ago. If we continue on with the tax sale proceedings, we would be looking at a tax sale date in March of 2021 for the properties that have 2018 taxes only. If you decide not to continue with the tax sale proceedings, Tax service will stop all work on the files, but when we start the proceedings again, the costs that have already been charged to those property owners are going to be charged again. Yeah. So if you stop, it's going to end up costing your repairs even that haven't been able to pay their taxes even more. So um, she is recommending that we continue with the tax sale proceedings and have a tax sale date in March of 2021. 
Um, you know, we're not doing anyone any favors by prolonging the length of time there only money for their 2018 taxes in case we're in fact we're making it worse because we're creating more costs for them. Correct. Yeah. So if you so desire, you can pick a date in March of 18 when to hold your tax sale. So. March of 21. March of 2021, yes. How many do we have in that category here? You know, I I sorry. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember either. So. I don't know how many actually did get them. So what do we want to do here, folks? We want to continue on the path we're following. I don't think it's wise to stop and restart because that's going to cost, like Ron said, more money to the consumer. So if we continue on with where we are right now, uh, when in March do you want to set a date, Tara? Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't know, like, what's a good date? Um, I'm thinking, you know what, let's just... You know what, we can set a date at the next meeting. How okay. about tax service recommend a date for the September 18th meeting? Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So we should have a motion on this, correct? No, we're good to continue on. We're good to continue. Yeah. There's your spot. Before. Yeah. So, so continue on. So we don't. Yeah, we don't. We're just gonna stick with what we. Do. So we're just gonna let that lady know then. Good. It's kind of like charging overdraft when somebody bounces a check. If they don't have the money. You're charging them more money. <laughs> it's actually good on our part to do that because we're kind of helping the boat. Yeah, I don't want to. Move. So yeah. we don't want to be mean and. So everybody gets in the buy once in a while. Yeah. Okay, uh, that all is on that one, dear? Yeah. Let's move on to number nine, taxes added and deleted. And run will go that one over to you as well, please. Okay, um, we have a list, if you see, insert number one of uh, additions to the tax roll and the subsequent um, additional assessment and subsequent additional taxes. We have a total in $10,890 to add to our taxes this year, which is very disappointing, <laughs> but that's basically last year's bills. And we have a total of, have a total here, oh sorry. I think there was totals. Yes, we did. A total of fifteen hundred and forty-eight dollars to remove from the roll, and that's for you know a number of different things: adjustments to assessments, maybe a building being demolished, um, just things like that. So uh, we do require the resolutions that are listed on your uh, agenda to add and delete those from the tax roll. Okay. Do you wish me to read that those up? No, that's fine. We've got them from them. I don't think we need to do that. Um, we, need, we need a motion for this one though, right? Yeah, yeah. I would make we and I can do them together, added yeah. and deleted. Yes. Yeah, I would make the motion on the minutes for the added and deleted okay. tax. We have a seconder to this motion that's been council Khan. All right, discussion. Grant must have given up and turned the yeah. chair. Any discussion, Councilor Wright? Is there a conflict of interest here or no? Um, You're talking about Carl? Oh, you may have a conflict. You may. You know, the only thing is, and I'm going to voice my thing here, I'm not very pleased with the tax branch that's working on this stuff. They have a notation here, uh, adjustment after exterior inspection. So what is that exterior inspection? They walked around the house. That's right. <laughs> they might as well have been on Mars. Yeah. Because when I talked to the tax office, the girl there told me that our house has an eight-foot concrete basement with a concrete floor and a finished basement. 
So how did they find out that we didn't have yeah. one? You'd have to call first. Well, I, I already did. Yeah. Well, the way it works is you'll get notification of this, and then you can appeal it. Well, the only thing is, I, I've already called them. Yeah. And the, the person that was doing my thing was supposed to come out and meet with me. Mm. But she never did. So I'll have to yeah. pursue this. Yeah, so when you get this, then... I mean, if you want to leave the room, I can leave the room. Yeah. Do we? Yeah. Can we make that, like, is that... I guess a conflict is a perceived conflict. Okay. Mm -hmm. So are you declaring a conflict? Do you want to declare a conflict and go out the hall for five minutes? No, I don't care because it's not, what I'm going to do is not going to be anything to do with this. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Because we didn't make the money decision. No. We're just doing what the tax ladies have said to add in the leaks. Okay. Are you okay with that, Wick? Well, she... All right, we have a motion on the floor. And if there's no more discussion, I'll call for the question. All those in favor of accepting these pages as presented. Opposed? Carried. Thank you. And Carl, let us know how you can go with that. Yeah. I'd be curious. I, I just had so many issues underway. I had my surgery and I broke her back. And yeah, it just hit the bottom of your next year. Yeah. Yes. Well, if you need any help, let us know. Yeah. Great. Okay, thank you. All righty. Let's move on to number 11, SCM Board of Directors of the oh, Election. 10. 10. Come for it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. AMM membership dues. Sorry, Rhonda. Uh, yes, we have uh, the invoice for your membership dues from September 1 of 20 to August 31st of 21. In the amount of thirty-seven hundred and I believe that's fifty. Could be six so. <laughs> dollars if council so desires to renew those. I'd make the motion. Can I have a second to please, Councilor Cobham? Any discussion? Is that the same as last year? I knew you were going to ask that. I see I don't have that information written down. It's pretty similar. Yeah, yeah because I don't remember. Usually they would tell us if they were going yeah. to raise, and I don't remember seeing it. Not okay, I'll call for the question. All in favor? Opposed, if any? Carried. Thank you. Now we'll do that number. Okay, run no. uh, FCM is also having its election. So it's going to be their first ever, ever virtual election and annual gen general meeting. FCM member representatives must register by September 11th to participate. So that's coming up quite quickly in the elections that are September 28th through the 30th and October 5th and the 7th. And their AGM is October 15th. And becoming a candidate, director candidates must submit consent forms, which are available online here, and a resolution by September 24th. And you have till September 14th table officers. So it's just if any of you guys are interested, uh, Manitoba has five seats and three candidates are up for re-election. And something just came up and blocked my Jeff was on there, excuse me. Yeah, Jeff actually did sit on the FCM board for a few years. Did yeah. that, did that uh, do you think did that benefit our area with it did. Yeah. It really did because it it be, had Burden become well known in a lot of political circles because he did go to a lot of stuff in Ottawa. And... <laughs> My tool for that, you think? Uh, two voices. Uh, right now, <laughs> candidates up for election are Doug Dabrowski, Marvin Klett, who's with the city of Winkler, and Laura Tatro, he's counselor with IMO Brokery. Oh, yeah. yeah. He used to be a CAO. <laughs> I'm sure it's good. I'm sure you learn lots, all that kind of stuff. But yet to be. I don't doubt that it would benefit if somebody wanted to do it. I mean, we, if we put somebody on the FCM board, then we pay them to go places. Sure. So it is a cost. Huh? Yeah, sorry. Tom the Gardner. Hey, I'm back. You can hear me now? You yes, that's better. Okay. 
What did I miss? Um, well, we elected you to the AMM board, and now we're elected you to the FCA board. We're at number 11. 11. We're just discussing if anybody here wants to put their name in for the FCM right now. Okay. It is, it is something, I mean, it would cost us money if somebody wanted to do it. I mean, if somebody really wanted to do it, I think we should talk about it, but it, it's I, an expense. I would be interested, but with my age, uh, I think it probably would be better for a younger person. It can be a lot of traveling and stuff, but well, right now, it's probably no traveling, but yeah. no, it'll all be by virtual. And I think you, you probably want to be a little well, better known, like well known in certain circles. Yeah. And yeah. Was, well, that's it. I have the experience. So. We're not quite. I don't. I don't want to speak for anybody, but I don't think we're quite at that ballpark yet. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that any of us are thinking mm -hmm. that ballpark right now. We're running for AMM first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or just for a district. Yeah, running for your district drafting yeah. position. That might be a nice. If somebody was, yeah, get your feet wet. Might be a better way to do it. Just jump yeah. right into FCM. Might be a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Okay, if there's no other questions on that, we'll move along then. Uh, number 12, code of conduct for council members. And Rhonda, I'll let you handle that one too, please. Okay, well, we finally got our sample bylaw for the council members' code of conduct and the Municipal Amendment Act which is actually strengthening codes of conduct for council members, requires all municipal councils Pass a code of conduct by bylaw and all council members to complete provincially developed online training on respectful conduct. The regulation defines the minimum standards and values that must be included in council code of conduct, standardizes the complaint and appeals procedures for code of conduct violations, and expands the list of sanctions available to councils to address violations of the code of conduct. The act and regulation came in, come into effect concurrently on November 1st of 2020. So in order to, for us to come into compliance, municipal relations have developed the sample, Councillor Code of Conduct Bylaw, which I have included, and it meets the minimum required requirements prescribed in the council members code of conduct regulation. Councils are encouraged to review this sample bylaw and strengthen it as required to meet the specific needs of our municipality. And we must have this bylaw in place by November 1. To promote good governance and accountability, councils are required to review their code of conduct bylaw annually to ensure it continues to meet the needs of our municipality. So this and this code of conduct, as you know, it was uh, there were sessions on and on the last two or three um, conferences and AMM, the municipal official seminars. They did do a lot of uh, stakeholder consultation with councils and uh, members of my association as well. So what I had, when I emailed this out to everyone last week, I suggested if you guys wanted to read through it and um, just think about if there's anything you feel you want added to uh, to the actual bylaw or considered to be added to the bylaw. And so then once, um, once we actually have it in place, you have to complete the training required within six months. So as of May 1st, 2021, and that will be online training, obviously as well. But every member of council is required to do that. Is there, yeah. Okay. I don't know if anybody's read it or not, but great. Yes, go ahead. I just have one question, Rhonda, and maybe it's in here and I just can't find it, but on section about appeals in like 11, it talks about an appeals director. Who would that be? I believe that's a provincial representative. Okay. I, yeah, I wasn't like I couldn't find it, and I was like, I think it's the province, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure. I have to double check on that, though. That's a good question. Let me double check on it. 
yeah, I didn't know if we had to like train someone in our office or if it was like a a bigger board than us because. No, I'm hoping it's not some a staff person. <laughs> Yeah, that would seem weird. Yeah. That was my question. I was like, it kind of needs to go higher. So I'll have to pull out the legislation again and see if I can find it. Okay, yeah. Councilor Gardner. Yeah, I've been through this. Uh, everything seems to come to the CAO. Now, in this document, Fine with that, but what happens if the, the uh, it, it involves you, Rhonda? Who would it go to then? If I'm the one who's saying all the complaints that, and the, I, I will have to find out the answer to that as well. And another one I've seen is that all the cost is is borne by the municipality yeah and, yeah and, and then if there's an appeal um we still have to pay for that i i just feel like if if something i've, I've done and i appeal the decision i should be the one that has to pay them well that's something we can check out yeah i'm writing these questions all down so i have all good questions. Okay. Okay, so we can adjourn that and go into our into our uh, oh, yeah, everybody's gonna sign into public hearing. Public hearing. Okay, I can come to make that motion, please. Councilor Williams, seconder. We're going into Councilor Cowan. All in favor? They all know they have to sign. Okay, you guys have to go out of this and go into this other link I sent you. And after that, we're done. <laughs>